at the end of a lesson, you should be able to 1. Perform computations involving multiple operations in the right order 2. Solve problems involving multiple steps and operations Order of operations PEMDAS Parenthesis 1. Simplify everything in parenthesis first. If there are parentheses within parentheses, compute the innermost parentheses first then work outward. Use the parentheses for the innermost operations, and then the brackets, and then the braces or curly brackets for the outermost operations. Exponent 2. Simplify the expressions with exponents first before doing any of the four operations. Multiplication Division 3. Multiply and divide from left to right, whichever comes first. Addition Subtraction 4. Lastly, add and subtract from left to right, whichever comes first. Let's have some examples. Apply the PEMDAS rule. Divide since it comes first on the left side of the multiplication. Multiply to follow the rule of PEMDAS. Since there are no more division and multiplication. Add or subtract, whichever comes first from left. In solving a series of operations without grouping symbols, you have to perform the multiplication or division first. Whichever comes first from left. Then add or subtract, whichever comes first from left. Do the operations inside the parentheses first. Now solve the operation inside the brackets. Inside the braces, the exponent should be solved first before the other operations. Then lastly, do the multiplication, then the division. For this next example, remember that you'll have to do first the operations in the inner groupings. Simplify the exponent first, before the subtraction can be done. Do first the addition inside the braces, before finishing with the multiplication. Let's have an exercise. Solve this expression with several operations. Which should you do first? You should first simplify the exponent. Then go on with the operations in the groupings. In this example, you'll just have to do the subtractions inside the parentheses first, before applying the exponent. Solve this problem, Byron has 5,500 pesos. He then spends 400 pesos per day for 5 days. 
On the sixth day, he spends just half his usual daily expense. How much does Byron have left? Solve this next problem, Mr. Bloom bought 8 crates of apples. In each crate are 120 apples, but on the average, there were 9 bruised apples in each crate. If he repacks all the good apples into bags with 6 good apples in each, how many bags did he make? Remember. The order that operation should be done as follows. Parentheses are groupings, starting with the innermost groupings, then going outward. Exponents. Simplify exponents before going on with the other operations. Multiplication and division. Then lastly, addition and subtraction. In solving problems, the order of operations is determined from the context of the problem.